Welcome to this video presentation where I'm going to demonstrate the airline scheduler importer. The scheduler importer is version 8.2 as of this video and it is February 2011. Features may change as time goes on as we're continually improving the product based on your feedback. Uh, you can get to the scheduler importer portal uh, by going to lawbookpro.com forward slash schedule. That is a quick link uh, which will take you right in the scheduler importer. Sign-in is required, so you can go ahead and log in with your website's uh, email and password. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can create one on the right-hand side of the login screen to get access to the Scheduler Importer. The Scheduler Importer is a web page which allows you to paste in your trip data. Uh, we will use uh, advanced routines to actually process that trip data and turn it into a structured format that our products can uh, import uh, those products as of this video is APDL, Palm and, and Pocket PC, Logbook Pro PC Edition, and our iPhone and iPad app uh, for your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPads. Uh, the, we are working on Android support as of this video, and we do anticipate Windows Phone 7 support coming as well, all uh, which will be able to integrate with the Scheduler Importer. I'll go over more of those features and uh, synchronizations, uh, how to import, export, etc. in this video. The first thing you need to do is go to your scheduler importer uh, or your schedule source, whether it's Track or whatever your airline uses, and uh, select, copy, and uh, paste in the trip data into this field here. If you're using Firefox or some other browsers, you may not see the paste and delete buttons. You'll get those with Internet Explorer. Uh, just going top down, like I said, here's your quick link. Um, and then we have a filter selector. Uh, please use the auto first. 99% of the time, this is going to work for you. We have uh, advanced capability to detect your trip format and uh, parse it uh, with our routines. But if auto does not work or you're seeing something not quite right, uh, try again and uh, pick out a uh, specific filter based on your trip source. Well, we're going to use auto in this demonstration. As I said, this is going to work 99% of the time. I've already selected a trip. I'm going to paste it in. I can either uh, click paste um, from the uh, right-click menu, or if I'm using Internet Explorer, click on the Paste button. You will probably be prompted uh, to allow access to the Windows clipboard to paste in the data if you do click uh, click this button. All right, once you've pasted in your trip data, as you can see here, I have uh, one uh, trip. You can uh, paste in one trip at a time or your or multiple trips, entire month, etc. Just click process trips. And you can see we got a thumbs up. We were able to process it and we have one trip added. So you'll see this uh, trip grid up here and we have the trip information. And uh, we can expand the grid to see our our trip information, our days, and the legs for each day. So there's day one, here's day two, so I'm going to expand. Well, I'm going to go ahead and import another trip. So let me select that from my trip source. Uh, this time I'm going to do two more trips. So let's paste this in. You can see allow access, <clears throat> paste, and I'm going to process. And we added two more trips. So now you see we have three trips in the trip grid down below. So as, as you can see, very simple. Um, select your trip data from your schedule source, paste it in, click process trips. That's all you need to do. And I reiterate, try the auto filter first. Now let's take a look at the trip grid. This uh, trip grid allows you to review and edit your trip information before you convert this data into a, 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 a format or <clears throat> prepare it for importing into um, a device or your PC edition of Logbook Pro. When you import trips, this information is actually saved in your personal cloud storage. You have a login, and uh, you can see that in this case they're uh, just for demonstration purposes a, an invalid information, but you'll find your account ID and username um, so it's associated with your login uh, for the website. <clears throat> so you can come back to at a later date and uh, work with your data. So you can go ahead and select, uh, copy, paste, uh, process your trips, and then uh, go play golf and then come back later 
and uh, your trips will still be here. If you want to remove this information, you can click Clear Trips. Uh, so let's take a look at the advanced capabilities of actually reviewing and editing the data. Uh, let's take, for example, that uh, you got word that your trip's not going to start until the, uh, uh, the seventh instead of the second in this case. On the right side of each row, you'll see a little white uh, card with a pencil and a delete button. Um, the red X, as you're familiar with, with many other Windows applications, you can click the uh, X and it will actually delete this entire trip. Or we can uh, delete a day or delete a leg. And you'll be prompted. So if you click the red X by accident or if you the wrong one, um, again, you will be prompted any delete action before it actually occurs. Now what's more interesting here is the actual ability to edit. So like I said, this trip we found out is going to start on the 7th. So I'm going to edit this trip and a little pop-up editor will appear and we can just change the date to the 7th and then click Save. And you can see that our start date has changed. Now if we have information, uh, we don't want to uh, import our crew data, we can actually just remove it and save and uh, change your trip number, date, whatever. You uh, have full capability of editing the data. So take a look at the data. Make sure the dates are correct, make sure your times are correct, make sure everything is, is uh, good to go. Now we do require um, or suggest that if your trip source can be in UTC Zulu that we <coughs> use that. Now in this case, you know, Logic Pro or the applications that import are going to use um, the block time for your duration. So it is not uh, time zone information is not required to get the accurate uh, data. APDL is time zone aware. You have uh, time zones assigned to your destinations, your airports, <clears throat> so it's going to handle everything fine. So as I mentioned, you're, you have the capability of editing and deleting. You can also add a trip, add a day, add a leg if you want. Um, so you can just you know add more information and then uh, click save and you can add a leg as necessary. So, so far, we've taken a look at how to import your trip data. Um, click these little plus and minus signs to expand and collapse the data. And uh, review everything. You can see if the, if the uh, leg is a deadhead, it will be checked. Or if it's not a deadhead, you can clear the check. So well, let's just say, hey, this isn't a deadhead. And, uh, or if it is a deadhead, we can edit that and then save it. And again, that is persisted in your cloud storage. Well, let's take a look at the options on the bottom. Once you have imported your trips and your information is correct, you are now ready to act on that data. If you're using APDL Palm or Pocket PC, take a look at the uh, instructions. It says click the download button. And this is going to prepare a special file that you can import. In the case of Palm, use your HotSync uh, install utility to uh, take the PDB files and import them into your device. For the Pocket PC, you're going to get a zip file. Do not extract the zip file on your PC. All you do is take that zip file and transfer it to your pocket PC, the uh, My Documents APDL Scheduler Importer folder, as you can see, as described here. And uh, the pocket PC application itself will extract the zip file, import the trips, and remove the zip file when done. For Logbook Pro PC Edition, um, all you have to do is click File, Import Schedule. This works in any additional Logbook Pro, Standard, Professional, Enterprise. <clears throat> you do have to have 1.11.0 or later. As of this video, 1.11.1 is the current version of Logbook Pro PC Edition. So again, just click File, Import Schedule, and you'll see a dialog that allows you to uh, configure some advanced settings, such as default aircraft type, um, whether or not you want autofill to run, whether or not you want the duration imported, um, and you can map information uh, such as your duty times, your duty on off, it will actually have the option to t uh, put a uh, uh, total duty um, uh, duration in there. So there's a lot of information you can map um, in the uh, import schedule capability of Logbook Pro PC Edition. For the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and we envision the same thing is going to work with the Android Windows Phone 7. Um, go to your settings and schedule importer area. Make sure you configure everything, uh, your mappings, your defaults, and then you can just go ahead and process. Uh, you'll see a schedule importer section on the iPhone and iPad. It's in the other category on the home screen. 
So just tap Schedule Importer, tap Get My Trips, and then Review Your Trip Data. It will actually show you the trip data in version 2.1 or later of the iPhone app. And then uh, finalize it by clicking the Import Trips button. We also have the ability to create an iCalendar uh, file of your trip data. You can specify a reminder. Maybe you want a two-hour reminder before each flight. And uh, so this is good if you want to download uh, an, I an ICS file, which you can import into just about any of the um, most recent um, calendar applications, whether it's Outlook, Yahoo, Google, um, um, Apple's iCal. Uh, so you can take these... Uh, this file and import your trip data and get a presentation uh, on your uh, calendar which is great if you have family that needs to know when you're going to be gone or you obviously you're looking for schedule deconfliction doctor appointments etc uh, it's a good idea to put this stuff on your calendar um, as of this video we do uh, require that your trip data is in UTC um, based on the time zone handling of these calendars we are working on time zone integration for a future update so hopefully that won't be too much longer and uh, we'll be able to handle time zones right here on the Schedule Importer portal. Um, a new feature in uh, as of 8.1 and 8.2, you can now export your scheduled data to either a tab delimited text file or a comma delimited CSV file. You can read this information in Excel, import it wherever you may uh, need. You can uh, set the collation whether you want the all flights in the same day combined, that would be a collation of by day, or if you want them uh, separated by from twos as you fly them. Um, you do need to put in a default aircraft type and ident because most trip data does not have this information. Or uh, uh, actually, if your trip data has it, it will use what's in the trip source. If it does not, it will fall back to the defaults. So if it's Boeing 737 or whatever your type is, 737 dash. Um, 700, 800, whatever it may be. Um, however you log it in Logbook Pro PC Edition, for example, put in your your default type. To put in your default ident, you can just uh, put in a hyphen, put in an N if you want to fill it out later. Maybe it hasn't been flown yet. Or if you know the exact uh, N number or the ident, you can enter it now. And again, if the information is not in the trip source, it will fall back to the defaults for you. And then the bottom, the last option here, um, for those that are in the FFDO program, um, we do offer an option to export a format that you can use to import into your FFDO portal. Um, while uh, typically um, deadheads are not imported, we have given you the option. We did re receive some feedback that uh, deadhead support was requested, so we added that. If you do want to include deadheads, just check the uh, include deadhead box. Um, and you'll be reminded in the uh, file that is generated of actions you need to do, such as mark them as non-mission and uh, specify the correct carrier, um, just as it says here on this third bullet. So for those of you in the FFDO program, you can take your schedule that you're uh, going to fly and easily convert that into a file <coughs> that you can import into your FFDO portal. So you have lots of uh, options here of where you can take your schedule data, and uh, advanced capabilities here of actually editing your data, deleting it, adding more trips um, by processing additional trips, or manually adding trips, days, and legs. So uh, a lot of capability here for you. So that's the uh, video presentation on the uh, web interface to our Schedule Importer portal. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, send us an email at uh, support at nc-software.com or use our help desk and uh, if you have a problem, please provide your exact trip data, which all this is stated on the bottom. If you need help, please uh, send us your trip data through the help desk. Include the filter or filters that you've tried. Your trip data is very important that we get that. We can work with it. And if there's anything that needs adjusting or adding, we can do it rapidly uh, through our advanced uh, interface here. So thank you for watching this video. We hope you uh, learned about our airline schedule importer, and uh, hopefully it will help you out. Have a good day.